from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, July the 12th, 2023. The IDF said it prevented an attempt to damage its border fence with Lebanon, saying a number of suspects approached the border fence with Lebanon earlier today and tried to sabotage the barrier area. IDF forces recognized them immediately and used measures to keep them away. The Times of Israel cited a military source saying Israeli troops used a non-lethal weapon in this effort. The IDF stressed it will continue to act in order to prevent any violation of the sovereignty of the state of Israel and damage to the border fence. A 23-year-old Afghan national was arrested in Azerbaijan this week on suspicion of planning to commit a terrorist act, reportedly, against Israel's embassy in Baku. Israel's defense minister, Yoav Gallant, is headed to Azerbaijan today, which borders Iran, on an official visit, cited by the Times of Israel as another step up in the ever-growing relations between Israel and Azerbaijan where Galan said he will present to the Azerbaijanis the global danger of nuclear weapons in the hands of Iran and discuss its dangerous actions within Israel and beyond. Israel's foreign minister, Eli Cohen, is on an official visit to Serbia, where he also warned of Iran. This was the first visit of an Israeli foreign minister to Serbia in 14 years and follows three years of what Cohen called political stagnation. Cohen met with Serbia's president, its prime minister, its foreign minister, and speaker of its parliament. And he said, today we are starting a new page in relations between Israel and Serbia. And noted that Iranian terrorism is a global threat, noting the incident in Azerbaijan. And Cohen said in recent months in Cyprus and Greece with attempted attacks against Israelis and Jews, stressing that only a joint struggle against Iran will bring results and prevent it from continuing to undermine regional stability. A group of 130 Olim, new immigrants from Ethiopia, arrived in Israel today, marking the completion, the Jewish agency said, of the second phase of Operation Sur Israel an effort to bring family members of Ethiopian immigrants to Israel, many of whom have been waiting in holding camps for years, even decades, now finally able to reunite with their loved ones. The Jewish agency led the implementation of this effort and worked closely with Israel's Ministry of Aliyah and Integration and others. Chair Mark Wilf said by completing this milestone in Operation Sur Yisrael and continuing to facilitate the aliyah and absorption of Ethiopians who have long yearned to arrive in the Jewish homeland, we have actualized the core value of the state of Israel and the Jewish people to advocate for the most vulnerable individuals among us. The American Jewish Committee has partnered with the Small Business Administration to help small business owners recognize, respond to, and help prevent anti-Semitism and other forms of hate. The AJC and SBA signed a Strategic Alliance Memorandum in a ceremony today at Florida International University. The memorandum, the AJC said, is in conjunction with the U.S. National Strategy to Counter Anti-Semitism, which was released back in May. CEO Ted Deutsch said this is an important moment as it will not only advance the White House strategy, but provide a crucial pillar of the American economy with the tools to fight anti-Semitism and other forms of hate. SBA Administrator Isabella Casillas Guzman said this first-of-its-kind partnership will help us support small business owners and their employees with the tools necessary to identify, recover, and prevent hate in their communities to help ensure Jewish Americans and all Americans feel safe going about their daily lives. Well, for the third year now, the Real Madrid Foundation, with the help of the Ministry of Regional Cooperation, will run an educational soccer clinic in Jerusalem. Israel's official Twitter noting some 1,800 children from Israel, the Palestinian territories, and various countries in the region will participate in the program. Tweeting last week, participants celebrated the opening of the camp with a festive and inspiring ceremony, saying thank you all of the individuals and parties involved in this beautiful initiative.
Emilio Butrogeno, director of institutional relations at Real Madrid, said Jerusalem is a meeting point for cultures and the perfect place where sport becomes a common and universal language, a tool for education in values and peace. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, July the 12th. At 7 o'clock, it's Talmud Study. At 8, actor, author, director, and neuroscience PhD, Mayim Bialik, talks about her Jewish journey and how it's evolved, what it's like to be proudly Jewish in Hollywood, how she's responded to recent streams of anti-Semitism in the media, and much more. At 9, it's Miriam and Avi Hoffman on L'Chaim. At 10, a cantorial Kumsitz concert. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, July the 12th, 2023. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.